Coming up at 10, the candidates for Wyoming's two U.S. Senate seats had their voices heard in a series of debates. And it was a great weekend for for antique lovers. These stories and more next on the K2 News at 10. You're watching the K2 News at 10. Good evening, Wyoming. I'm Marielle Ashley. And I'm Mike Mahoney. Thank you for joining us this evening. Well, Senate and House candidates squared off today in a debate at Casper College. The debate was hosted by the college as well as KCWY and the Star Tribune. We attended the debate between senatorial candidates John Barrasso and Nick Carter. Candidates Barrasso and Carter discussed their plans for the future of Wyoming, plans that look very different. K2's Andy Wantor has the story. In the debate, the differences between the two candidates' opinions were often night and day. Today's debate really brought out a true difference between the candidates. Barrasso and Carter sounded off on a list of different issues, everything from energy to campaign funding and the economic crisis. In particular, the two men were on opposite sides of the spectrum when it came to the recently voted on bailout plan. Carter was for it, and Barrasso was decidedly against it. And it seems as if the crowd present was just as divided. He trusted the folks of Wyoming to tell him that the bailout bill was a bad idea and he showed courage against going against the leadership and voting against it. I seem to be very proud of voting against it and I don't agree with him at all on that one. They also separated themselves on social issues. Brasso is pro-life and against gay marriage while Carter believes it isn't any of the government's business. Uh, the government should shut up, pave the roads, balance the budget, and not worry about those kind of issues. Let the people decide what kind of uh, life they're going to lead. The candidates got a little heated as they stood for their ideals and tried to set themselves apart from their opponent. Carter accused Barrasso several times of avoiding the questions. And if I seem kind of angry, I am. This enlivened speech fired up some and got Wyoming citizens listening. There's something new. He ain't working off of everybody else's record. And I think it's time that we start really working for our people in this country. But it wasn't all in favor of Carter. Barrasso had his share of supporters as well. He's all about what is not popular, but what is right for Wyoming. Whether, you know, it's the popular thing to do, he's always on. So, Barrasso promises himself to be a man of the future and to be the best for the future of Wyoming. I focus on the future of Wyoming and the future for our people and for our places and for our personal freedom. Voters can make their decisions November 4th on Election Day. Reporting in Casper, I'm Andy Wontour with K2 News. Starting tomorrow.